Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Katie Stone, and this is Stone Second Sense. Now, today we are going to dive in a little bit deeper on the New Mexico nonsense with the governor, who thinks she is, well, bigger and badder than the Constitution, and therefore does not have to listen to it and can override it whenever she sees fit. So, let's dive into this interview uh, or presence she did here with CNN. Be shot. It's but disgusting. we also have, Governor, out, the Constitution of, the, of New Mexico and the Constitution of the United States, and you're an attorney. Do you think you're on solid constitutional ground here? Well, um, we're going to see. I mean, look, I wouldn't do it if I didn't think I had the right. I have the but right. Where is the right? Where is? I like how she says, I have the right, I have the right, after she says, well, we're going to see. Excuse me? Something here is just not making sense, but let, let's just continue and let her, let her keep going. Let's continue. Hey, and other uh, issues on the Second Amendment keeps getting broadened. So the Bruin case in New York, right, yep. that uh, deals with concealed carry uh, right. and uh, te cases in and, Texas and that's that say actually, you can Governor, be what a, I'm talking a drug. About. You bring up the Bruin case, the but Supreme Court know. last this year. Was, let let me just ask you this, the, because the Supreme Court last yeah, year sure. totally changed what we're allowed to do, what you're allowed to do. And they said, unless you can base it in the history and tradition, you don't have grounds to do something like this. The New Mexico con <laughs> She didn't like that. Did you see her face there? She did not like that. I mean, she brought up the Bruin case. And I don't know why she thought that it was funny to bring up the Bruin case, because why did you not think that this individual here on CNN was going to turn around and use that being like, hey, just another case in point where the whole Bruin case popped wide open and smacked down so much gun control because they're like, listen, if it's not in history and text and tradition, then therefore it cannot be pushed on as gun control. So I don't think they had... 30 day bans for emergency reasons because the governor decided she didn't want people to have guns for 30 days. I don't think that was one of the things that they were like, oh yeah, we're going to allow that. Mm, no, but there's one more and I think you're going to be, well, I would say like it, but it's crazy. Take a look at this. No law shall abridge the right of citizens to keep and bear arms for security and defense. No municipality or county shall regulate in any way any incident of the right to keep and bear arms. Are you not in violation of both the U.S. Constitution and your state's Constitution? I don't believe that we are. And if that narrow reading of the Constitution, which has been tested in the state, we wouldn't have universal background checks. We wouldn't have a waiting period. We wouldn't have a red flag law. We wouldn't have uh, prohibitions for straw purchases. None of those would have been deemed constitutional. And today... <laughs> Well, there we have it, ladies Those are the, and gentlemen. Those are the four things that I suggest uh, maybe we look into uh, getting rid of in New Mexico. Seeing as she just said, not only does, New Me not only does the Constitution of the U.S. stand against it because of the Second Amendment, but the, also the Constitution of uh, New Mexico says, huh, no, you're not allowed to do that. So this governor is just pushing all the kinds of gun control she wants and pushing and, and trying to get rid of your constitutional rights, which is absolutely insane. And now, I, I said something yesterday in some shorts and you can go look at it. She made a point and a comment about um, how no, no constitutional right, in her opinion, was absolute, which drives me absolutely insane because... Uh, Pretty sure the Founding Fathers would not have agreed with that. Um, I'm pretty sure that that goes against everything. And I'm, I'm just, I, I can't stand the fact that she's going after, she's, she's not only going after the Second Amendment, but she's going after every constitutional right here. I mean, think about it. If this is what we're doing now with the Second Amendment, and I don't care if you like firearms or not, that's completely your decision and your opinion. You don't have to like firearms to support the Second Amendment or to support the Constitution. You don't. I know a lot of people that actually have never shot a gun in their entire life. They don't care to shoot and they have no intentions on shooting, but they know and understand and respect their reasoning for the Second Amendment and they know that we need it in order for our country to stay free and for us to be able to protect ourselves against tyrannical government and, well, this nonsense is going on in, well, New Mexico. 
the sheriffs have stood up. I did a short on that as well. And there's so many other people that are like, no, this is not okay. And she just keeps standing behind it and keeps digging her hole on the fact that she thinks that she is above the constitution, which is absolutely nonsense. But You've heard my opinion. I want to hear yours. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Do not forget to hit the like button and please subscribe because I always want to have more people jump on and hear the good news. And that way we can communicate on your thoughts, your opinions. Everyone has different opinions and I love to hear yours. So have a great day.